how to fix google photos storage problem for free hi guys welcome back to another video and in today's video i'm going to be telling you how you can go ahead and fix your google photos storage problem so let's get into it so here you can see i'm logged in into my google photos and here you can see that the storage is mostly full it's almost full but i had to delete a couple of files that were redundant that's why it has now given me a few space but you can see it's quite full and in today's video i'm going to show you how you can fix this all right now the main solution is that you can go ahead and purchase one of the plans and that'll give you like a bunch of different spaces right and there are different plans for different amount of space that you might require but if you don't want to pay first things first you can do is of course no brainer like duh you gotta go ahead and delete some of the redundant files so here you can review and delete so you've got screenshots you've got other apps unsupported videos you've got large photos and videos so you can go ahead and delete them you can see most of my storage is being occupied by google photos a little bit of gmail and more and then the other ones are basically free so as i said before first you can go ahead and get rid of some of these larger files so click over here so here you can see different amounts different sizes of files so you can go ahead and select up whatever you want and then you can go ahead and delete those right so i'm going to go ahead and delete a couple of these and after selecting those files just simply go ahead and click on move to bin all right uh it'll recover almost two gigabytes all right so now you can see now if we go back our storage is a little bit better we now have more storage so this is one way but this is just a temporary fix i'm just going ahead and showing you what you guys can do clearing out some of the storage does help so this is one way to go ahead and review and delete it'll automatically detect some of the larger files some of the blurry photos some of the screenshots and it'll let you choose what you want to delete in order to get more space and the one thing that i would recommend you guys do is come over here underneath recover storage and you'll find convert existing photos and videos to storage saver this will help you significantly so it'll go ahead and compress some of the size of these photos and it'll make them smaller so you can see right here doesn't affect items stored or added elsewhere on google such as in gmail google drive or youtube some items backed up on pixel devices may not be affected so just go ahead and click on i understand and click on compress existing photos and videos so it's going to go ahead and compress and this might take some time but once it's done these nine gigabyte files are going to be compressed maybe possibly into half and also one more thing that you can do is if you come over here and this mainly is for mobile users but if you go over onto your phone all right and you click on your profile picture then you click on your settings right so for example like this image over here you click on your profile picture then go into google settings and you click on the first settings which is going to be the uploads or whatever then it's going to show you these options right here called backup and sync when you click on it you can go ahead and turn it on right but if you'll notice down here it says upload size quality as well which will reduce the size quality so here if you click on the upload size and you select the lower quality version that'll also save you the size and save you time and save you space as well also you wouldn't even need to go ahead and compress your images as well so uh let me go ahead and see where that option went and also as you can see right here it's done compressing it as well so you can see right here larger files it was nine gigabytes now it's four and blurry photos this was like 300 now it's 190 and uh, screenshots was also very similar but now it's also 130 183 so this also helps it compressed a bunch of size and now we have a pretty decent amount of space to work with over here so these are some of the things that you can do to save up some space permanently right and i would say go ahead and select this option this is going to be the best option for you in order for long term as well and also i would suggest that this is like a no-brainer but again it's a pretty simple solution pretty simple fix create another google account yeah again shocking but yeah creating another google account will help you get more space you can go ahead and use that option you can go ahead and use that account just for photos and if you use these options right here the ones that i showed you the ones where you go ahead and compress your files and select lower quality uploads you basically can't really tell the difference between low quality and the original uh it's just a little bit i would say it's almost like it's free you can't really tell the difference it's almost like it's exactly the same thing it's uh, it's like 90 percent 
right? They just take off the top and you're basically left with the exact same photo. It'll just save you a bunch of space. It'll save you a lot of time. So yeah. So now let's go ahead and create a new account. So I'm going to open up the incognito over here and I'm going to go ahead and click on Google account management. And here you can see, this is the website right here. You can click on create an account and here just fill out, go ahead and sell your first name and then click on next. And then here just select your date of birth, whatever it might be. And then it's going to give you some options right here go up depending upon your username then you can go ahead and select one of these or you can create your own gmail address i'm going to select one of this one and then click on next and i'm going to set a password and then it's going to ask you for a phone number to go ahead and send you verification text so go ahead and do that enter the code and we should be good to go and then you can add a recovery email address this email address is very important i would suggest you go ahead and add one since if you let's say forgot the password to one of your email addresses or let's say it's been hacked or you don't remember it you can go ahead and use one of your recovery emails to access it and reset everything so it's really cool you can skip this if you want but i would suggest go ahead and do this but for now i'm gonna skip this i'll set it up later and click on next oh i think something went wrong i think i might have to do all of this again okay so i tried a bunch of numbers and i think that's why it, i can't create a new account because i already have a few accounts created with my number so i'm gonna have to change my number but i'm not gonna do that i'm just simply gonna skip this step and let's just say that you have created a new account now what you are gonna do next is make sure that you have your recovery storage option chosen out you can see right here it's still taking some time and you make sure that you set your upload qualities to you know storage saver mode so for example as you can see i'm on my phone right now now here you're gonna go into photo settings and go into photo settings and you should find it over here called backup and currently this is my email that i have everything backed up over here but if you scroll down you can see the backup quality right here if you click over here you can go ahead and set it to storage saver this will go ahead and set your photo compressed to 16 megabytes and video compression and high definition and good quality pinups up to 24 by 16 so it'll lower the quality up for a little bit and the original of course is going to stay original this is for larger prints but go ahead and select this lower one it'll lower the quality of your uploads and it'll save you a bunch of storages as well and that way you won't have to worry about it, anything you won't have to worry about running out of storage and since you have compressed your already lower quality photos you can get almost double or even triple the amount of storages in your google drive now unfortunately if you were wondering that hey why can't i just get more storage right instead of that's just not possible nothing like that exists out there it's fairy dust it's unicorns nothing like that is going to happen the only thing you can do is do these types of tips and tricks and just squeeze out as much storage as you can but other than that if it still does not work if you still require more storage then you have to pay or maybe use some other form of storage or cloud like other services out there like proton they also have a bunch of drives and clouds you can use mega a lot of people use that as well they have a bunch of different plans as well but again totally depends on you but yeah so there you have it these were all the things you needed to know about google photos and how you can increase the storage so thank you guys for watching hope you guys enjoy this video if you did be sure to hit the like button subscribe to the channel and turn on post notifications and i will catch you guys in the next video and until then take care and goodbye